nitric oxide reacts with chlorine to form NOCl. Got data there for 298. I have the balanced equation. I just want to know when is this reaction spontaneous. To know the when and spontaneous in general, we need to know our delta H and our delta S. I get rid of the delta G. That only tells me if it's spontaneous at 298. I want to know more than that for this one. So I'm going to bring down my coefficients. I'm going to add my products, subtract my reactants, and I'm going to figure out my delta H and my delta S. All right, so I have 2 times negative 90.29. plus 2 times 51.71 and I get delta H is negative 77.16 kilojoules per mole the negative is the most important part that's why I wrote that big and then we have 2 times negative 210.65 minus 223 I dropped a 2, 223 plus 2 times 261.6 close these parentheses and I get a delta S of negative 121.1 joules per mole Kelvin. Since both these are negative, this is a reaction that's spontaneous at low temperatures. Had they both been positive, you'd be spontaneous at high. If the delta H was negative and the delta S was positive, it's always spontaneous. And if those are opposite, delta H is positive and delta S is negative, it is never spontaneous.